Chris Ham Livecast. Okay, I'm just going to admit it right now. I'm wearing green shorts <laughs> that I've just gotten shit from for both Max and Lynn. I guess A, because of the color. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> and B, because they're cargo shorts. I wasn't giving you crap for it. I was just saying. You were making fun. Hey, it's nice that you're wearing shorts, man. <laughs> I'm taking that like you were giving me shit a little bit. Dude. The reason we're saying is because he never wears shorts. Let no, alone I wear green shorts. shorts. I just don't really wear shorts like. You mostly, when you wear this. shorts, you wear a bathing suit. And mom has always given you crap about that. <laughs> I hate, I'm hating everybody right now. That's so true. You and shorts You guys don't should get along. just always stay the hell out of it. What okay, are we making? At least the food you make is good. Oh, sorry. Hello, everyone. It's uh, it's Burger Week. Yeah. Gonna make a couple of little uh, ahi sliders. Oh, nice. Damn. Today, right? Sliders. So our bun of choice will be the Hawaiian roll As because it's amazing. It's fantastic, but you have to be careful because they've got a they've got a butter version. Ooh. It, it looks just like the same packaging except somewhere in yellow it says butter or savory butter something. Not and good. You, and I don't want that. I do not want that. I want the tried and true. So delicious, Hawaiian roll. And this stuff toasted. Mm. And this stuff French toasted, even better. Oh, French toasted. Mm. Okay, so we've got this. This is gonna happen. Here's a little piece of uh, yellow fin tuna that I'm gonna try and make into uh, two little uh, perfect burger buddies. Huh. Just burger, like that, huh? burger buddies. Wow, you, you just cut through that like butter. Well, it is like butter, baby. It's like butter. I'm heating my grill pan. This goes fast. Think about it. What you don't need is to cook that all the way through. Am I right or am I right? Right. You're right. Of course I'm right. What are we dressing it with? Here's what we're dressing it with. Ready? We're going a little Asian. We're doing starting with a little hoisin. Hoisin, which I say is. Chinese barbecue sauce ish ish like sort of sweet sweet it's nice a little Japanese mayo nice because that's my thing I love it and chili paste sambal which is like the um, sriracha sriracha that's right the hell is my sriracha here like the sriracha, right? Green top, everybody gets it. No seeds here, you see that? Mm -hmm. There's nice no smooth. seeds, and here, there's seeds. So this one's gonna be a little hotter. Lots of flavor though. Boop, boop. Do it then. Boop. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we got that little sauce. No one gets that, no, no one gets, one gets that. That's an inside joke. <laughs> we mix this. Nice. The sweet of the hoisin is balanced by the use of the sambal right there. Heating, heating, a little hotter right here. I want that to be fast. Tuna's going in the grill pan? Tuna's going to go in the grill pan. We want some marks. We want salt and pepper. We're going to just give it a little oil. I love the color of that tuna. Yeah, it's nice, right? Dude, this is going to be like a five minute live cast. Yeah, five minutes, if that. But you have to season well, right? It's we'll like do this on purple. Both sides. Your mom's almost purple. <laughs> but it just shows you, man. You got a little bit of time to cook. Right, a little bit, right? There's the operative word. Yeah. Now, okay, so I've got a tiny bit of a cheat. A tiny bit of a cheat in that the crunchy thing that I'm gonna put on this, I already had made because I use it for a ton of things. And all it is is uh, jicama, like match sticked up, and green onion. Yeah. You can do this. It's one of the easiest things in the world to make, and it's so damn good. And you can find jicama anywhere. You just got to look. Anywhere. Yeah. Regular supermarket. Regular supermarket. Okay, so the buns. We'll open these guys up. We can give them just a tiny little bit of oil here. No butter? Nah, I'll go oil this time. We'll throw those guys face down here. This thing's ready. 
Should I put them in? Yeah. I want it to be super hot though. I want it to just. Well, then why don't we, we want to take a quick break? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, um, um, I have a class coming up August 23rd. It's at Perch here in San Diego. Theperch.com. You've heard me talk about it before. If you knew nothing about it, all you need to know is that's where I do my cooking classes. And I do my cooking classes there because it's an awesome place. They got everything. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy, that's their line. But the way they do those things is the really cool part. Every faucet that you look at in the place works. Every shower head works. And nobody does that. And what better way? Rather than just stand and look at a faucet and go, oh, I hope that the water comes out the way that I want. You can see how the water comes out and you can use this thing. By the way, they sell this. By the way, everything I have in my kitchen, you can get at Perch. They're fantastic. They're growing like weeds. In fact, I'll be at their Dallas opening uh, at the end of August. Nice. That's going to be fun. Okay, so check them out, theperch.com. Follow them on Facebook because all kinds of events that they do, they always talk about. And a lot of them are free and they're fun and crazy stuff. Go there. Okay, back to this. Uh, I'm going to need some avocado so I can get this ready. Oh, tuna and avocado. Buns are almost ready. Okay, let's put the tuna in, shall we, Max? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Come watch. Oh, I'm coming. Ready? Nope. Yes. Tuna. Okay, the beautiful thing about tuna, especially thick tuna like that, is that you can watch the color change. And as it changes up the sides, uh, you know when you need to turn it. The goal for this is to try and keep this guy rare. We don't want these things uh, turning into tuna in a can, which can very easily happen. We all know that. We've seen you that. Or you see the color. See where it is? Right. Check that out. Look in there. How beautiful is that, right? So what we're going to do is we want the little bit of crunch here. Hold on, Max. You back up for one second. Thanks. Bun's almost there. What we want is we want uh, the extra crunch that these grates give it. So we're going to do this. We're going to turn it that many degrees. And then hope that we gave it enough time. I didn't even look at it. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, I could probably turn on the fan a little bit. We've got our sauce made. We've got our jicama green onion slaw ready to go. I've got avocado over here that's about to go on these guys. Look at that beautiful color. Right, we'll give it like another 30 seconds and then the guy's getting turned. Boy, the fried egg that we put on that uh, pork burger on uh, Monday. Yeah. So good. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Okay, so let's turn these guys and have a look. Oops. Look at wow. See that? Wow. Nice. That's what this is all about. And look, it didn't take long. Was it a minute and a half aside? Yeah. So far, maybe. not much more than that. And we give it less on this second side, just to really try and keep the a little bit of rareness in there. And our buns look like this. Buns are there, looking nice, beautiful. You could show the buns, or I could just talk about them and nobody could see them. <laughs> there are the buns. I was trying to think of some fun, of a funny joke to make about yeah, your cargo a funny shorts. joke. Oh, my shorts? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Bite me, douche. You can take the spare slider and put it in your cargo shorts for later. My uh, what? So you can take the second slider, eat the first one, and put the second one in your pocket for later. Hey, you know what? <laughs> you could, man. Our, our cargo's not popular anymore. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I feel like I'm just going to Everything's get cyclical, man. That. Cargo's going to be back in, in like, you know, gonna five years. I, I can't wait. Every, both of you are talking at the same time. And I couldn't hear anybody, and I don't really care what either of you had to say. <laughs> Look, there's little simple things that you can do in your food world to make things way better. Ready for a tip? Here's one of them. We all of. Weallof.com will get you to a place where you can get only California certified extra virgin olive oil. You know, the whole olive oil world, especially the extra virgin stuff, it's very sketchy. You can be buying things that are mixes of all kinds of stuff. 
California certified extra virgin olive oil only at We Olive. It's amazing. You can go online, weolive.com, check out other stuff. If you put Sam in at the little checkout box, you'll get 10% off your order. Or even better, go to a store, have them turn you on to what great olive oil tastes like. You'll be so glad you did it. Weolive.com, tell them I sent you. Okay, well, that'd actually be meaningless, but put my name in the box and you'll get 10% off. It's all good. Weolive.com, check them out. Because you're both stupid. <laughs> so, avocado comes out beautifully like this. Jeez, everything just has a perfect color today. Doesn't it? Okay, these gotta come off. So watch. These guys come right here. Let me find the tops. I like to do this the right way. So we take a little bit of this. And we put it on there. We take some avocado. Mm. Man, I love avocado. Wow, that sauce is really good. And that sauce I've used many times before on things. Look, there's your marks again, right? One guy goes here. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. I dropped it. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, no, again. Gosh, it's hot. I should probably now separate these guys. Oh, it's all fallen. Maybe the avocado should have went on top? Maybe who? The avocado should have went on top? Maybe it should have. Shut up. <laughs> Jeez, that tuna is so beautiful. Maybe this is all I wanted to do. And oh, take wow. that and put that on top. That bun cannot contain that sandwich. It cannot contain this sandwich. <laughs> but look what I've done. Look what I've made. Which one's prettier? I want to make sure that you get I a good shot. I think this closer right, one, right? Yeah, like, right. The this one? On, one? The, the other screen one's right. This yeah. one? No, not that one. This one? Yeah. Yes. All right. So this guy I'm going to try and get a bite of. You think it's impossible? No. I think it's possible. Are you Should I cut, cut it? it? Huh? I probably shouldn't cut it, right? No. no I just eat it. There's man. no way it's going to happen. No, you're not getting that cut. It's too small to cut. Okay, but look at this. Come on. Nuts. How pretty is that, right? And here's what it tastes like. It tastes like a mess. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Spicy from the sambal. Luxurious from the avo. The crunch from the hickam on top. Oh, damn. Okay. I know this is not July 4th, red, white, and blue traditional burger. But we didn't say traditional burger week. We said, there's still heat on it. Mm -hmm. We said burger week. And that's a damn fine burger. If I went to a restaurant and I ordered it, came like that and I ate it, I'd be a very happy guy. All right, well, that's it. That's it for today. That's it. We're at hump day on Livecast burger week. What will uh, Friday bring? Anybody have any ideas? A burger. A burger, thank you. Points to the big man ostrich in the back. Ostrich burger. Ostrich burger. Have you ever had ostrich? No. No, not ever. Lynn? Delicious. Have you? Yeah, I've had it. Really? They have at Fred Ruckers. Fred Ruckers, wow. I haven't been to Fred Ruckers since my kids were little. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time. All right, thanks for hanging in with us. Try this, don't make the same thing. Please, we're here to try and make your food life better. Just follow us and you'll be eating better. It's that simple. My right, Lynn? Yeah. Max? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. See you guys on Friday. What, do you want to say something? No. Okay. See you guys on Friday. Hey, follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, at The Cooking Guy, and Instagram, The Cooking and Guy. And Facebook. And Facebook. There's all kinds. Of, Facebook's dying. Is it? You think so? I think it's dying. I don't think so. I no. think Instagram. Facebook and, owns Instagram, so there you go. I, it doesn't matter. It does I, matter. I'm just, say, I'm just saying. I think Facebook gets used you know, a lot here's how face, here's how Facebook would have died if yeah. they didn't buy Instagram. They ensured their survival by buying it. Instagram was going to, was all the best parts of Facebook. Yeah. And so that's why they purchased. <laughs> Go ahead. Are you saying something? And that's why they purchased. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Duck College Boy, thank you for that. I'm just saying I think people are using Facebook less and using Twitter and uh, Instagram more. Good news for photographers. Exactly. Follow me there, all kinds of fun stuff. 
See you on Friday. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> Goodbye.